Focus. Not focus. 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 What's going on, everybody? Robinson here in my headquarters in my house, working out of my home office. I actually have my bodybuilding trophies behind you, uh, but I'm not going to show those on camera right now. <laughs> anyway, I wanted to talk about some of the, you know, being in the YouTube community and the fitness community long enough, I've noticed things where things get hot really quick and cold really quick and people flip-flop and, and just go through the constant debates of who's right and who's wrong. Uh, the things that I'm talking about are, you know, the constant uh, back and forth over scientific studies regarding things like undulating periodization, linear periodization, bodybuilders not training like powerlifters, powerlifters not training like bodybuilders, um, you know, blood flow restriction training, high volume versus low volume, bro splits, if it fits your macros, meal plans, fasted cardio, not fasted cardio, RBCA is necessary, do they help with fat loss, do they slow down fat loss, and like this constant you know, debate that's always going on, and I think it's always good to have these debates, because it's always good to see both sides of the argument, because a lot of times when something comes out, you know, a lot of studies are flawed, unfortunately. Um, you know, you're, I don't think you're ever going to get the perfect study, but I think people are trying to get better with how their studies are structured to reduce some of the variables um, to make sure that the results are getting are accurate. But as someone who might be a beginner or an intermediate lifter, uh, especially on the beginner end who's just maybe getting their foot in the door and trying to figure out what's going on, my word of advice to you would be this. Um, find a program that you think you'd be interested in doing. It doesn't matter whether it's a bro split, a push-pull legs, you know, two days on, one day off, four days on, one day off, whatever it is, undulating, non-undulating, linear, uh, you know, full body three times a week, whatever the case may be. Pick a program and execute it till it's false. I'll give you an example. When I first started lifting, I didn't know a damn thing about muscle hypertrophy or strength building. All I know is you went to the gym and you just trained. Um, I didn't understand what any, uh, any of this stuff was back then when I was 17 years old. And now at 35, I've gained more experience because I happen to be uh, very involved in the, in the fitness community, both on the power build, uh, powerlifting side and on the, uh, on the bodybuilding side. And I'm fortunate to have access to people that are well-respected in the community on both ends. I started off when I was 17 just going in, taking a body part, training it, and leaving. Um, so I either had a massive pump or my muscles hurt or I was basically training to failure. But I, I never maximized any of those results because I didn't understand that once you left the gym, the other you know, 22 and a half hours that I wasn't in the gym, there were other things that were important, um, you know, like my nutrition being in line. Um, getting enough sleep, not going crazy with the consumption of alcohol, all these kind of things. And since I was just in high school and then later into college, you know, I was much, very much into having fun and having a good time and training really hard. Um, and at that point, you know, especially as I was getting into college, that's when kind of supplements started to get more popular, such as whey protein. By the way, if you think some of these things suck now, you should have tried them when I was 17. All of them tasted like chalk, every flavor, and they chunked. Um, and the smell of death that ended up in your shaker cup happened within about five minutes of that thing being empty, let alone over, overnight. They were horrible. Protein bars were horrible. All of it was you know, junk. And I was constantly just searching for the next hot GNC type supplement uh, that you see those ads on your web browser to get me to uh, increase my gains faster. Uh, but I didn't understand anything of what I was doing. I was just eating a ton of food with no understanding of what the caloric intake was and then just lifting. About five or six years ago, I was fortunate enough to get in natural bodybuilding being surrounded by good people and good coaches. I started to learn more about how to draw out specific results that I wanted. And I did this by getting away from the body part of day. Now, I'm not saying body part of day doesn't work, okay? Uh, it does. There are, very people, there are people out there who are very, very successful with it. But by designing a training program where I knew exactly what I was going in, you know, what I was going in to do every day, sets, reps, and some of the uh, one rep max percentages that I was using my daily undulating periodization programming, helped me basically to transform my body to what a lot of you see today. I did not look like this five or six years ago, and if you follow my Instagrams and some of my Transformation Tuesdays or Throwback Thursdays, you'll see what I used to look like. Had I not learned this style and the and these training uh, methods. I don't think I would have gotten the results that I have gotten. Now, for someone like yourself, 
who may be new to the gym, it's very hard to decipher what's right and what's wrong. And in my opinion, there's really not so much a right or a wrong. It's more of finding a training style that blends with your personality um, and matches what your goals are to get the results that you want. Now, how do you decipher that? Well, if you're looking for a strength training program, you may want to look for something like a 5x5 five five or a linear. And if you're more advanced, you know, on the more advanced level, you could, you know, that's how you would start. And as you get to a more advanced level, you might look at something like a conjugate or a daily undulating periodization. And those would help you break some of the plateaus you're hitting with training frequency, as it seems a lot of studies that are coming out by showing that increasing your training frequency, um, you know, with your squat, your bench, and your dad, there seems to be faster strength gains. Now, when you're looking to be more in a bodybuilding, you know, if you want to have some bodybuilding in there, that's when you're going to start blending in some higher rep ranges and some accessory work. So not only are you getting the strength, but you're getting the aesthetics that come with it. And, and for me, that's where daily undulating periodization really worked well. I got great strength gains in both my squat, my bench, and my dead by focusing on the percentage of the one rep max. And then I was doing accessory work to either hit the hypertrophy rep ranges so I can make my arms, my shoulders, and other things bigger, or I was doing other accessory work that would assist me in making my lifts stronger. The whole idea, guys, is no matter which programming you're choosing, uh, and I know, unfortunately, in, in YouTube land, it's like everybody, you know, one day everybody's a bodybuilder and everybody's a power lifter. Now I'm starting to see people swing back to competing again. It's like, it's like it goes through phases, like every year to two years, you'll see people swinging back and forth. Um, you really need to not worry about what's hot at the moment and stick with what your particular program is. Now, if you've been doing, you know, if you've been doing this particular training style for a long time, like myself, Every once in a while, I'll say, hey, listen, today I'm not going in and I'm not doing the big three. I want to do chest by itself. Uh, I want to do back by itself. I want to do an arm and shoulder day just for something different to kind of like refresh my batteries because doing the same thing over and over again for me after an extended period of time becomes redundant and becomes boring. It's hard for me to psychologically get myself into this. So in closing, don't worry about what's popular. Um, don't even worry so much about getting into the debates of what is scientifically, um, what's the word I'm looking for? They always talk about optimal. Because um, optimal is very different based on the person and their particular circumstances, based on their lifestyle, based on their particular goals, based on how their body responds to any particular stimulus during a progressive overload. So find a program, execute it to its fullest. If, you, if it's not helping you to get to the goals that you want, then I would say, after several months, five, six, seven, eight months of running a program and your goals aren't really, you know, the results you're getting aren't really aligning with your goals or you're not getting the results that you want at all that are aligning with your goals, then start to examine different things and may just change your program things to something that more is in line with what you're trying to achieve. All right, guys and girls, hope that helps. Talk to you later.